Bristol Community College, Mathematics with Dan Avedikian, Math 132, Calculus with Applications, Section 12.5, Problem 7. This is Section 12.5, Problem Number 7. It says, find the derivative of f of x equals the natural log of the square root of 5x plus 6. <clears throat> so, to start this problem off, I have to do something with the square root. And what I'm going to do is change the square root to an exponent of 1 half. So I'm going to have now, notice no prime yet, f of x equals natural log of 5x plus 6 in parentheses raised to a power of 1 half. So as I apply my um, rule for natural log of some stuff, I have f prime of x equals stuff prime over stuff. Now, you might feel that, well, when I do the stuff prime, the stuff is something in parentheses to a power. I'm going to have to apply the chain rule. And that will work. But it's a little bit more work than you need to do. If you remember your properties of logs, when you have an exponent, you can bring it down in front of the log. So you can rewrite the function. Again, no prime yet. f of x equals 1 half natural log of 5x plus 6. So the exponent of 1 half can just be moved in front of the natural log. It's equivalent either way. But written in this form, I don't need the chain rule. The stuff is just 5x plus 6. So now as I fill in the formula for the answer, f prime of x equals the 1 half in front just stays in front. Again, there's no variable. I don't need to apply the product rule. It's not 1 half x. It's just 1 half, just the number. So it stays in front. Then times stuff prime over stuff. The stuff is 5x plus 6, so I'll put that in the denominator right away. And then stuff prime, the 5x gives me a 5. Again, when you have an x to the first power, the derivative is just whatever the number in front of the x is. In this case, 5, positive 5. The plus 6 has no x with it, so its derivative is just 0. So I have 1 half times 5 over 5x plus 6. And you can certainly simplify this. Again, it's nice to just multiply through that 1 half. So the f prime of x equals, when I multiply fractions, top times top, 1 times 5 is 5. Bottom times bottom, 2 times 5x plus 6 will be 10x plus 12. That looks a little bit nicer that way. Now again, if you had forgotten that you can apply the property of logs and move your exponent down in front, and you did the stuff prime as a chain rule, you would come up with the same answer in the end. It's a little bit more work, but it will come out to the same answer in the end.